Welcome to day 27. We're really on the home stretch of this. So serious, serious shout out. If you are still here, it just shows so much to like it. And we're going to talk about this today. Like if something you're doing isn't quite clicking or growing, it's clearly not you. That's the issue because you have that level of consistency where you're showing up. Obviously you have the grit and you have that determination. So I want to be able to help you today with your passion project, there was this question that kept coming up in the comments and on live about, well, if I'm doing X, Y, and Z and trying to grow my side hustle, or I'm working at this job, or I'm working at this goal, and I've been doing it for a really long time, like over a year, and it's just not growing, at what point do I decide to pivot or stay where I am? So I'm going to take you through my own thoughts on this, and it might be able to help you with a little bit of clarity. So the first thing I'll ask you is, if it's not growing, And what, what is growth for you? Is it income? Is it bringing in an income? Is it happiness levels? What is your determining factors of success? Now, once you've determined what that success means, and if it's income, that's cool. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense, honey. So if you're not, if your business is literally tanking in the opposite direction, it's time to self-assess. So my question is based off of that factor of what you deem success Is it internal being you can control it or is it external being it's something else? Now, very quickly, I just want to note, don't play this game of, well, it's everybody else's fault. It's my following that sucks. That's that's on you. But if you have a boss or if you are in a perfect example, if you are in a network marketing business and your business just isn't growing and you're actually seeing a decline, might be time to self-assess because you technically hate to say it, you don't have control over it. You might have to pivot. So little things like that can be, I think, a really good self-assessment. Now, if it's just, and for 99% of us, when we're growing a business, you're just not showing up enough. You might think you're showing up a lot, but it's not enough. So what I would say is figuring out the controllable factors that might be internal that you could work on. And one post a day on Instagram, isn't going to cut it to grow a business. So this is where the entire, I've talked about the content machine. There's a free Instagram page that I have. I've made it. So there's tons of free tools on there. You can also do the full Academy and you can see what I'm talking about. If you go, I'll, I'll link it down below, but there is build a content machine on Instagram. It's a page run by me. I don't post on it very much, but every single post is like, there's even some little Halloween ones, but there's tons of tips about See, how do you stay consistent and grow a following in a brand? So they're always just like cute little pink branded pictures with really good tangible tips. So you can go on there, you can go check out the Academy, but that is the concept of the Build a Content Machine Academy where you post on one platform and I'm going to give you some tangible tips today. Post on one platform and it feeds all the others. So you can be everywhere all the time and be a content creating machine. And I think that what most people do when they're building a business is they think that it's sufficient to post once a day on Instagram. I would say post eight times a day, not on Instagram. So that's where I think people get confused. They go, oh, okay, I'll post more. And then they just go ham on stories and posts on Instagram or whatever platform you're on. And they just focus on that one spot. There's 8 billion people that you could reach. So go out and post on all these different platforms. Like I'm talking like Twitter, now called Twitter X, but post on it for business, post on YouTube. I got asked a lot of questions. We can die. If you guys really want to dive into this, we absolutely can. But how do I start a podcast? You want to know how you start a podcast in 2023 beyond is you stop talking about starting a podcast because everybody and their moms has a podcast. You just freaking do it. So I have surpassed episode. Is it bad that I don't even know which episode I'm on of my own podcast? Is that terrible? We are on episode 167. Do you want to know how I got there? By not talking about it. I didn't talk about doing a podcast. I just freaking did it. And what I mean by that is I found a way that worked for me. So this is a pure example of how you can reach a ton of platforms. If you're feeling like your business is stagnant and you need to get more eyes on you quickly, you need to hit multiple platforms by doing not as much work because right now you're probably overdoing the work and you're not seeing the kickback. This is how you do it. Video that I'm on right now. It's connected to this mic. I could also, I don't even need this. I could literally be doing it just video five minutes, pull the audio. So I'm not recording. You guys know this. I'm not recording 
a second podcast. This feeds two platforms. So it's going on the Daily Grind YouTube page, and this is going to go on the Daily Grind podcast. But it's the same amount of time for me. Let me blow your mind further. We are going to splice these into little vertical reels for our Daily Grind Instagram, my own Instagram, as well as the Dream Life Blueprint Instagram. We could pull stills, like screenshots of like me, whenever we do the thumbnail of me being like, oh, today is the day that we're going to talk about your passion project isn't growing. And I'm like, this, that's a really good thumbnail. <laughs> and that's how I do it. I pause mid video, by the way, that grab could go on Pinterest, my blog. Like, do you see how many platforms I just hit? Like, what are we at? Four, potentially five. Well, yeah, we're more, we're at, we're at five. The vertical could also be repurposed to TikTok. So we just hit six plus platforms um, that could be tweeted out. And all done organically. Like, it's not like we have us doing it. Like, it's not like a person doing it. That's machines that are doing it. So work smarter, not harder. Hit more platforms. And very much self-assess if it's you, if it's an internal factor, or if it's an external factor, like a boss or an external company. Like, let's say you're affiliated with a company and they're just either not paying you out, the product just isn't good, or the customer service sucks and they're just not aligning with your values it's time to pivot. That's an external factor. You can't control it. It's not based off of you. But if you're trying to grow your YouTube page or you're trying to grow your business where let's say you print stickers and you're trying to grow that, that's on you. You can completely control how many posts you put out and how many people you reach. You could split test ads. Split testing just means you put two ads out, put a couple bucks behind both, see which one does better. We do this all the time at the Daily Grind. See which one does better and then pour into that one that does well. That's a split test. So controllable flat factors post on more than one platform. So if you are trying to figure out when to pivot or if you should be pivoting, another thing that you could look at is the pros and cons of the joys of the business. If it is affecting your health, your stress levels, and it has you questioning your worth, it's time to pivot. If it is, if it is not raising your number in your bank account and your internal vibration of freaking happiness, then it is not worth your time. It is not worth your energy. Pivot. There's a big difference between being a quitter and being smart enough to know when you aren't being valued at the worth that you actually are. And that's when it's time to go. So it's either, it's up to you. Either you level up and you know your worth and you know what you're capable of and you step up to the plate and you create more content and you hustle harder or you pivot, know your worth, and you go put your efforts where it'll be respected and valued and worth your while. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys today. If you did have some epiphanies, I still want to see it in the comments because it shows me what's really hitting home with you guys. And what we'll do heading into the next couple of days, I really want to go a little bit deeper into this entire like know your worth, glowing up, making bank conversation because it really seems like the day that I talked about the multiple streams of income really hit home with a lot of you and that's what stemmed a lot of questions. So if that's how you guys want to keep going until the end of this, let's freaking do it. So with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.